We know Siege is an important game to so many people. All of this means we are committed to Siege and what makes it so special. Reinforcing the idea that this is an experience unlike any other and that only here can you get the strategic gameplay that is so rewarding. And one of the reasons why this game has been around for eight years and will be around for many, many years to come. Year 8 is all about going back to the roots of what Siege is. The tactical shooter experience that is unique in the industry. Over the course of the next year, you'll see the new story of Siege unfold, where we'll introduce more operators, more stories, more strategies for everybody to jump into. On top of all of this, we remain committed to giving the best experience to our players, where we have a zero tolerance policy when it comes to toxicity and cheaters. In this roadmap for Year 8, we'll be bringing four operators. Each season, we'll be bringing also a new battle pass and a seasonal event. First off, in Season 1, we'll be heading to Brazil, one of our most engaged community around the world. In Season 2, we'll be heading to Sweden. We'll be reworking Consulate. And also, alongside this, Permanent Arcade is going to be launching in Season 2. In Season 3, we're heading back to South Korea. And lastly, there will be a quick match rework. And in Season 4, a new country in Europe, Portugal. Our team is really working on an exciting new map, so stay tuned for more information during the year. Les sujets au niveau du player protection, mais surtout au niveau de l'anti-cheat, sont des sujets complexes. Nous ne pouvons pas venir avec une seule solution. Nous devons devenir avec un éventail de solutions. L'équipe player protection pour l'ensemble de l'année 8 va travailler sur un set d'initiatives, dont certaines sont issues du recherche et développement. On peut mentionner QB. Monstrap, Reputation Penalties, Reputation System, mais aussi Ban on Data. Cet ensemble a pour but de répondre à nos objectifs en termes de réduction de la toxicité au niveau de votre play experience, mais aussi de tout cas de tricherie, d'exploit et de hack au sein du jeu. QB est une nouvelle solution de sécurité que nous avons construite à l'interne. Le but de cette solution est de diminuer l'occurrence du cheating au sein du jeu, mais aussi d'augmenter les coûts de production d'un cheat au sein de Rainbow Six Siege. C'est la première fois qu'une telle solution est mise en place dans l'industrie autour du FPS compétitif. Monstra, une nouvelle mesure de sécurité dont le but va être de réduire l'impact des cheaters au niveau des consoles et de rendre l'expérience beaucoup plus juste pour tout le monde. Nous sommes à l'heure actuelle les premiers dans l'industrie à avoir mis en place une telle solution. La solution Monstrap, qui va être déployée durant la saison 1, va être une première fondation. Nous allons bien entendu la faire évoluer à travers les saisons de manière itérative afin d'être sûr d'avoir une solution qui soit robuste et résiliente sur le long terme. Le Reputation System est une feature complexe qui est sortie récemment dans sa version bêta. Je suis très heureux de vous annoncer une nouvelle feature sur laquelle l'équipe est en train de travailler, le Player Commendation System. Le but de cette feature est de mettre en place un système d'appréciation dans lequel les joueurs vont pouvoir noter d'autres joueurs par rapport à leur expérience au sein d'un match. Bien entendu, lorsque nous allons sortir cette nouvelle feature, nous allons la monitorer et faire en sorte qu'elle ne soit pas abusée. Dans le but de rendre votre expérience beaucoup plus équitable mais aussi juste au niveau du mode compétitif, nous allons ajouter de nouvelles règles. L'objectif va être de réduire le taux d'incidence des comptes inadéquats sur votre expérience de jeu, mais aussi de réduire l'impact du smurfing qui est considéré comme du cheating au sein de Rainbow Six Siege. Au niveau de la sécurité, un autre point très important, le Privacy Mode. Nous avons mis en place une initiative sur PC afin de mieux protéger nos content creators, mais aussi tous nos joueurs au sein de Rainbow Six Siege. Et je suis très heureux de vous annoncer que nous allons mettre en place cette solution sur console afin d'avoir une protection qui soit optimale et transversale pour tous. Cet ensemble d'initiatives a pour but de rendre Rainbow Six Siege beaucoup plus coopératif, accueillant, mais aussi sécuritaire pour tous et toutes. We ask our players to step into the roles of elite operators from all over the world who execute their mission with surgical precision, which means the moment-to-moment -moment gameplay should reflect that. Our focus in Year 8 is to double down on the work we started in Year 7, which is to continue to enhance the tactical aspect of Siege. 
In-game, when you have the information that somebody is reloading, you feel you have the opportunity to push that player because their weapon is no longer lethal. But with reload cancelling, they can magically get their gun to become lethal again and stop you from having that advantage. Reloading is now something you need to think about. You have to be sure that you are protected, maybe covered by a teammate, or prepared for that unexpected push if you are going to make that commitment. In Season 2, we're revisiting Frost. Uh, one of the things that happens in game is that you get stuck in a welcome mat and you can't do anything to help yourself. Now you'll be able to remove that welcome mat yourself, given enough time. Coming in Season 3 is a new secondary gadget on the defender side. It's the Observation Blocker. Defenders will be able to use the Observation Blocker to control what intel is given to the attackers, whether that be localized on the site or off-site. The Observation Blocker is the tool to control the intel force your attackers to have to do something different or have to spend time and resources trying to figure out what it is you're actually up to. So for Season 4, we have a big feature update and a big rework coming. We're reworking our shield operators. One of the reasons we had to rework the shield operators is because fundamentally there's a lot of friction that comes around them, whether that's being hip-fired and shot at and die, which doesn't feel good, or being the shield operator who is hip-firing and not hitting your shot, and that doesn't feel good. So ultimately, we have negatives on both sides of the shield. And the goal is to remove those frustrations as with everything that we're looking at in the game and realign it to that empowering fact that you are an elite operator who can do their job and do it well at all times. It doesn't matter what platform you play on, if you're a pro, a ranked player, or you play quick play on the weekend. If you play Siege, you're part of this community and your voice and your needs matter to us and help influence the decisions we make. We learned a lot with all the changes that we introduced in year seven. We brought in FOV sliders, aim customization, as well as fine tuning the handling for drone strafing. And all of this has kind of informed us on where we need to go next in year eight for console players. When we're talking about player comfort for console players, we're starting with controller layout. This is a preset that you can jump to that you find works for you. This is our first step in giving console players more flexibility over how they play the game. The next step is going to be when we bring in controller remapping. We know this is a highly requested feature. With these changes, we want to make sure that console players have the same opportunities to customize their experience as PC players do. Quick match. We haven't touched it in a long time, and we want it to stand out from other experiences like unranked and ranked. And we want to do exactly what the name suggests. Get into the game quick and experience Siege and all of its action as much as possible. That means reducing the amount of downtime that you have in quick match, and also reducing the amount of repetition of things that aren't really core to the game of Siege. With all of this, we're excited to share these features that answer to the needs of customizing the experience no matter what platform you play on and making sure that you can execute to the best of your ability. Siege has been around for a long time. New players are competing with very competent and experienced players that are playing with our game every single day. This can be overwhelming for new players because Siege has a lot of depth and new players don't have the tools to learn how to play Siege correctly. In year eight, we really want new players to practice through play. We want them to experience operators, test out their gadgets, and navigate maps. In season one, we're bringing Beginner Challenges, a new progression tool for newcomers, which allows them to learn how to play Siege as well as unlock operators as they play. In Season 2, we're going to be bringing the aiming lane to the shooting range. You'll be able to customize the speed, the movement, the quantity of targets, as well as advanced techniques such as headshots only. In Season 3, we'll be bringing brand new playable tutorials. Each one of these maps will allow the players to learn a different element of Siege, whether that's basics like destruction or verticality, droning and rappelling, reinforcements and barricades. We reward 10 new ops for players upon completion of those tutorials. Five on attack, five on defense. In Season 4, we'll be bringing the Defender AI Playlist, a safe place to teach your friends how to play Siege and to learn new operators and new maps. We're really excited about this new AI Playlist. It uses a machine learning algorithm which is informed by our current players playing today. In this playlist, you'll play as an attacker against the Defender AI. The next steps for us afterwards would be to add the Attacker AI Playlist in a future update. Same as last year, we're bringing back the Year Pass. 
This will give you access to the four battle passes of the year alongside the privileges that come with them. So the early access to the operators, the shop discount, and more. And lastly, you'll have an exclusive bundle coming with it. There will also be the Year Pass Premium Bundle. This will give you access to the same uh, content as the Year Pass alongside 20 tiers of the Battle Pass every season and an exclusive bundle that will feature an exotic weapon skin. And this will be launching next Monday for a limited time only. Years ago, we made the promise that we were going to be here for 10 years. And we're making you a promise. We are going to be here for the next 10 years. And that's why it's so important to us as well to execute at such a high level, to make sure that we deliver to you everything that you expect, everything that you're hoping for, and that means reinforcing what we all love about this game. We are a strategic game and every decision counts in it. It's such a unique experience. The next year of Siege is going to be huge and important for us to deliver to all of you.